Well, remember this. A year ago on this date, it was 103 here at the TV station. We hit 106 at Monticello. Marianne had 102 at Remington. Rochester had 105. We had 104 Crawfordsville. Uh, the Indianapolis Weather Service Office had 109. And there were parts of southern Indiana that were 107, 108. And I'll always remember that hot day. It was two days before my daughter was born, and I kept all the weather records. Because when she gets older, I'll say, boy, Hadley, before you were born, it was hot. It was rough. But today, not nearly so. A year later, it's 84 at the station. It's 81 at Monticello, 72 rain cool degrees at Morocco, 80 Crawfordsville, and it's 80 at Burlington. We're still tracking a few widely scattered showers and storms. First of all, we had one pass through Ladoga. That is pulling away, getting out of the viewing area. But we've got a little line, at least broken showers and storms. This actually produced uh, some pea-sized hail. This is moving towards Winnemac. Doesn't look like much of a hail core now, but maybe some gusty winds to 40 out of that. And then a few more showers and storms now approaching Remington. Maybe even be raining now by this time in Remington. A little rain around Kentland. And all these scattered showers and a few thunderstorms are moving southeastward. Now, once the sun sets, they'll tend to die down and diminish a little bit, but they may hold on long enough to bring a few showers into Lafayette and certainly Fowler and Monon as well as Monticello here over the next hour or two. A few very widely scattered showers and storms over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and highs only in the 70s. Some scattered storms Tuesday into Wednesday, but I wouldn't cancel any plans. The key word is scattered and then turning hotter with time and unfortunately more storms as we edge towards the 4th of July. This is the weather for tomorrow. A lot of clouds around, little sun peeking through, and notice the spotty nature of these showers and thunder showers. This is what we're going to have tomorrow because all this is moving southeast. So near 60 or 61 tonight, tomorrow breezy from the northwest. Hey, only in the 70s, 75 Lafayette, 74 Monticello, 74 at Burlington. Now on Sunday, similar pattern, spotty showers, thunder showers, 75 Rochester, 77 Lafayette, 77s towards Attica and Fowler. So tonight there are a couple showers kind of diminishing with time. That's four o'clock in the morning. Again, we're fine, but by tomorrow afternoon, that's 10 in the morning. Notice the spotty nature of the shower and thunder shower action. Then they kind of diminish somewhat tomorrow night. But by Sunday, this is 630 in the morning. Notice a few little spotty showers, thunder showers popping up again. That's eight in the evening, so that's going to be the key through the weekend. Again, I wouldn't cancel any plans, but you're going to have to at least dodge a shower or thunder shower or two with time. Seven day forecast, you know, Monday looks dry with 81, but as a record breaking heat wave moves eastward, we're going to be right on the edge of it. So we could have at least a few scattered storms, perhaps a few clusters of storms, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, into Friday, and unfortunately on the 4th of July. Let's hope we avoid any rain during the fireworks, but we're going to be dodging a few storms around, but it gradually gets warmer, and I think that's the start of a hotter weather pattern after that. We've got we've got the stretch of 90s coming. Of course, we all remember the great Hadley heat wave, don't we? <laughs> hey, that's a good name. For that's it. right. I got to put that in our baby book. I got the weather records. You got a big party this weekend, don't you? It's a block party at the Evans house. All right. Happy birthday.